Well, welcome everybody to the press conference for uh, All on the Line. It's a big night of boxing, the 20th of November at the World Cup Hall. We're delighted to have the four main combatants here with us. We've got um, John Slowey, who's flown in from Glasgow. Uh, we've got Alfredo Melli, who's in the main event against Conrad Cummings. We've got Marco McCullough, who's making a, a big comeback fight on, on the 20th against John. And we've got the main man himself, Conrad up here with me. I'm going to now hand over to Conrad's manager, Barry McGuigan, uh, who's going to just tell us a little bit about the colour. Well, the, the good thing about it is you don't get kids with unbeaten records fighting each other anymore. It just doesn't happen. Not at this stage in their careers. You know, Alfredo is you know, a very successful kid and uh, he believes he can win this fight. Uh, and I think that uh, Conrad is undoubtedly a champion in the making. We've seen what he's done in the gym. Uh, he's an extraordinary talent. He's getting better and better and better. And we have big hopes and aspirations for him. This is the sort of fight that everybody's going to be talking about. Um, and uh, John Slowey and Mark, Mark McCullough both uh, want to redeem themselves, coming back from losses, and they want to do something uh, special in the sport but this is a really great night i believe it'll be a fantastic fight i obviously am slightly biased because i think the man's going to win but then of course uh, uh Pedro's training and manager will feel the same way but it's going to be a great night uh, and i'm going to hand back to blaine and uh, tell you a little bit more about it so um obviously the main bout of the evening is uh, a celtic bacon celtic middleweight title fight I'm really pleased that we managed to get this fight made. It took a little bit of time um, because obviously two undefeated fighters, you don't want to throw your prospect in there too early. But I'm, you know, hats off to Alan Wilton and to, to uh, Alfredo for taking the fight because it could have easily just been palmed off for another year or so. And I think that would have deprived the Belfast boxers in the public of you know, potentially what could be one of the fights of the year. I am. Um, I'm also delighted to have made the fight with, with Marco and John. You know, Alec Morrison is probably one of the most respected men in Scottish boxing. And it was really a simple conversation. I think he asked you, John, very quickly, and there was no hesitation. So, you know, we've got another quacking contest there. It's the Scottish champion versus the current Irish champion, and it's a make or break fight. You know, it's do or die, really, for both of these boys. And I'm 100% confident Mark can come through this fight and win convincingly, and we've got big plans for Mark thereafter. A red hot division, there's Ryan Walsh, who's the British champion, you know, there's Lee Selby at world level, we're not forgetting Josh Warrington, he's not too far ahead, you know, he's got the European title uh, and the Commonwealth, but I wouldn't count him out of the mix just yet either. As for Conrad, Conrad winning this fight, it sets up so many opportunities for him. I mean, it's probably, I'd say, the most exciting division in British boxing, and um, I think this fight's out there against the likes of John Ryder, you know, um, this is just countless amounts of fights. And, and, and up at the top of the top level, there's uh, Chris Eubank Jr., who, you know, had a few more fights than Conrad, but I'm confident that when Conrad gets to, to sort of 15, 16 fights, he'll be ready for that kind of category of opponent. So anyway, I'm going to quickly pass over to Conrad to, to kick things off, say a few words about this fight. Um, where you go? Where you go? Uh, I'm say, I've really got a part of the fight. Um, first off, the other Fredo. We've got the fight where the other Fredo is good enough to fight. So, that's all I'm thinking of. Um, really got a part of the fight. We had him on my own show. We just made a fight that somebody dream of as a kid. Um, Taking very hard. Taking for 10 hard rounds. Um, I'm sure it'll be an exciting fight, however long it may last. But, um, I didn't know what I was doing, but I don't know what it should be all exciting. All the way. All the way, it is indeed. Hand it over just quickly to Alfredo, just how do you feel about this fight, Alfredo? I think it's just more fate. It's just another battle. It's just going to be a turn around battle. It's going to be hard and dirty, but battle around here and be around here and be. That's what I love it. And you've been in training for a couple of weeks, yeah, and this already happened. Yeah, we've been training hard, we've been working hard, so we've been here and we've been starting to meet um, just quickly down to Marco, obviously, big fight for you, Mark. And uh, you got your win at the weekend. 
It's a 10 round contest for champion. I think you've only been in one this year and back in that kind of battle. But how you doing? It's sort of a make or break fight for me. I'm sure. Sure. So I know he's going to come in the win as well. It's makes it even better and more exciting. Just glad you get the confidence back after the win at the weekend and straight back in the camp from yesterday again for over five hard weeks. So I'm going to be ready. Um, it's a great fight for me. Um, it's been a bone coming out of your winning record. This is the fights I want to win. These are the fights I have to win. And John, I would say. Yeah, um, I mean, it really is all on the line for Marco and I, and the two of us are in a similar kind of situation, Mercury, and, and it's a must win for both of us. Uh, and I don't come just to make up the numbers, I come to win. So um, I've got a plane full of crazy Glaswegians coming over with the as well, so I'm prepared for that. Uh, so yeah, Marco's a good fighter, I'm a good fighter, and um, it really is all on the line. I'm looking forward to it, I'm going to put in the hard graft, and uh, I'm going to come out of there with a win. Yeah. And don't forget, John's just come back from Italy where. He uh, didn't get the rub of the green out there, but I, I, we all know about Italian decisions. You know, there's uh, been a few dodgy ones in the past. And, uh, yeah, that was for the EU title, wasn't it? So, yeah. a championship fighter fighting another championship fighter. Um, I think we're going to throw it open to the floor. If there's any questions from any journalists, please crack away. You know, you said it's just another fight, but considering the level of opponent it is so far, it's kind of big step up in class and how do you see it like this? You know, I have respect for all the opponents who are going against. That's the end of this respect for anybody. But to me, I have, I have life too. I've worked in boxing, so I do both happy enough. I treat every fight the same. I win, train hard, go home, fight hard. I'm a boxer, I'm here to fight and I'm here to talk, you know? <laughs> <laughs> You've got to talk a little bit there. <laughs> Nature of the nature of the sport, but yeah, no, I, I agree with you. Conrad, Alfredo here. You, you know, you, you watch Dana Fay. Obviously, you're a full-time boxer or full-time trainer. You live your life, so you'd be going in as favourite. Any pressure on you? You know, in that respect? Uh, not necessarily. Um, I, me as a person, I try to pressure. You know, I think uh, this fight, I want to see the best of me. Uh, Freeman's coming in. He's not a lot of respect. This fight is a stepping stone to bigger things? Um, sure, every fight's a stepping stone to bigger things. You know, I'm not going to pass the field. He's, you know, he's tough guys, he's, he's coming for 10 more rounds, like myself. Um, so I'm not going to pass him. He's, he's the only one I can make concentration on. But once again, I know where I want to be. I'm going to finish up, and that's the very, very top. Um, so it's really just a stepping stone. Now, it, it is a stepping stone. So he's, the, he's in my way. And uh, it's something we just uh, so, um, I don't need to be done. How quickly or how soon do you think Conrad can be fed the next of John Ryder or Blackwell or people like that? Well, you know, a lot of these guys um, are, are difficult to do. That's why I admire after taking the fight. A lot of these guys don't want to know, a lot of these guys don't want to fight him. We have a difficulty enough getting sparring partners, so it's, it's not easy. To get guys to take chances with them. But we, we have developed as a company now to a stage where we have uh, a good reputation, we get our guys rated and ranked, and uh, you know, the government bodies listen to what we're doing and watch what we're doing. And, uh, you know, sparring is, is the, the nearest uh, you know, indicator as to how a fighter can do. And we, we've seen Conrad spar with the world champion and the European, current European champion. And, we were very, very happy to get out of those gyms the way this kid fought. And so that is your nearest indicator of how good you can be. 
and I know the potential he has, and uh, it is pretty damning. And we're very excited. We're very, uh, we know that our film is a very strong guy, very tough kid, fit as a flea, throws punches non stop, volume puncher. But that's what we want, that's the sort of opponent we need at this stage. And uh, you know, I'm hundred percent convinced that, that um, Conrad uh, gets past this difficult fight and goes on to do uh, pretty amazing things. In the couple of your fights before and after you all said you like to get the rounds in. Do you think yeah. you should do those rounds come out into the side of you? Yeah. One other snap
for you. After the win against Rhys Gale, an undefeated fighter over 10 rounds, how much are you confident over that performance for you? Yeah, 100% confident over it. Yeah, so well, I'm Thanks very much guys, we're going to do one-on-ones and a few photo ops to stop here. Thanks guys.